AT&T, one of the largest telecom companies in the U.S., has just confirmed a massive data breach impacting over 73 million of their current and former customers. Yikes. This video is sponsored by Stonefly. More on that at the end of the video. For over a year, people have been finding their personal info dumped online. Names, addresses, even socials. Turns out, all that data traces back to America's second largest wireless carrier. But every time hackers flashed the leaked files, AT&T denied it had anything to do with them. That is, until a few days ago when they finally fessed up. You've got to hand it to the cyber sleuths, though. They talked to dozens of affected customers and discovered the leaked details included account info people had only used with AT&T. There was no other explanation. It had to have come from the telco's broken security. The real kicker? Hackers also made off with the passcodes of over 7 million accounts. Hmm. No wonder AT&T was so hesitant to own up. With over half the U.S. population entangled in this mess, you've got to be extra careful. Change those passwords, people. This data disaster raises lots of questions that still need answering. So, what really happened? Back in 2021, a hacker group called Shiny Hunters claimed to have stolen sensitive personal info like names, addresses, phone numbers, and even social security numbers from 73 million accounts. At the time, AT&T denied any breach occurred. Fast forward to earlier this year, when another hacker leaked the huge data set on a forum, again claiming it was the same data stolen previously. Security researchers analyzed it and found it did indeed contain very sensitive info, but AT&T still denied it was their data. However, that's where things got really interesting. Researchers spoke to over 50 AT&T customers who said the leaked data contained email addresses and details they had only ever used for their AT&T account. Things were pointing to this very likely being a real data breach, but AT&T stayed silent. Until just a few days ago, when they finally admitted that the data is in fact from 73 million of their customers from as far back as 2019. They also admitted that the account passcodes for over 7 million customers had been compromised. Now, AT&T says they've reset those passcodes and will be notifying all 73 million affected individuals. But you have to wonder, what took them so long to admit this? And how did such a massive amount of sensitive customer data get stolen in the first place? It's situations like these that show how important data security and privacy really are. Major breaches will only continue to happen if companies don't take protecting our information seriously. And now a word from our sponsor. Get a 100 terabytes air-gapped and immutable S3 object storage appliance for VMware Cluster for $8,995. Contact sales at stonefly.com for details. Let us know your thoughts on this massive data leak in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated for more tech and security news.